Hello, and welcome back to this... Actually, I don't know. You remember back in the day when you used to play a bunch of games that you really don't even remember unless somebody kind of brings it up? I feel like this game is one of those games that people have that thought about. Now, that's not me because I haven't played this game before. I just played it for the first time the last couple of days. I feel like there's so much history when it comes to this specific game, no matter how you look at it. It's just a matter of what it was considered and kind of around the time it was released for the PlayStation 3. So I played this game for the first time. This game has been considered by some people as the Halo Killer. That's a statement that you never want to say unless you can actually 100% pull it off. If you say that statement and then the game completely becomes just terrible, well then you look dumb. It's not a good look if you did something like that and that's kind of what this game did back in 2008 when it first released. So I played this game, I just said that. I want to say this before this begins too as I'm giving giving an absolutely honest thought. I'm not just saying this out of what I heard someone say or something. I, this is what I, this is what I think. So you really can't begin this unless you discuss the history. So whenever there was something mentioned where it had to do with a first person shooter, especially when it was deemed the Halo killer, I would have crab walked to Walmart. If I heard any game was released saying with that title attached to it, I was going to definitely try and get it as fast as possible. Now this, this is the problem. The problem with this game was it had a lot of problems with the development. Actually, this may have been even 2006 when I first saw the trailer for this game. I think it was originally supposed to be released in 2007 and then it got pushed back because there was problems with development so they had to obviously had to move it back. They had to move back the launch date to 2008 with everything that was going on with it. This was actually supposed to release for the Xbox 360 as well. It almost seemed like this was just a rush development where everything needed to be done in a specific time and they just simply couldn't pull it off. With Free Radical being the developer for this game, trying to basically do so many things in this little time that Ubisoft was giving them, they couldn't do it, so Ubisoft kind of had to step in. Whenever you hear the word Ubisoft now, it just almost kind kind of gives you just it, it makes you pissed off. I don't know how many times it's happened. It's probably been a lot, but all the times that I've heard where there's been rush development and people just simply not getting along, when the game actually does finally release, most often it's terrible. And that's basically what this game kind of became, was a rushed game that was supposed to release in 2007. It had to be delayed a couple of times. And then eventually they just said, there's kind of like a cyberpunk situation. So that's kind of what Hayes was back in the day. It was a rushed game that should have had way more time put into it and that's telling if you play this game for five minutes you can tell this was rushed this game was more rushed than a landscaper on a friday afternoon i don't know why it just even really had to release i'd almost would have rather it didn't even release if it's going to be some dog shit game where it doesn't work it's terrible what are we doing? Either don't release it or keep delaying it. How many times, especially these days, this was not that common back in the day it seemed like, but these days it seems like it's ever so common. There's these delays that happen because games aren't finished, they're promised specific launch days, and then when the hell the time comes, you can't release it on the exact day, so then once you delay it a bunch of times, they're just like, you know what the hell with it, just release it. It's a broken mess. We saw that with Cyberpunk 2077. Has there ever been a better example than that? If you don't want to even give a shit about the story, you could probably play this game for 20 minutes and know exactly what's going on. I noticed so many problems in this game so early in my playing time that it just didn't even really feel fun as I was sitting there for seconds. And honestly, I don't even know where to begin. I feel like everybody who played this game should have to invoice Ubisoft for making people play this because it's a mess. The first thing you can tell as soon as you turn the game on is it just really doesn't look that good. Now this was kind of around the generation where things kind of had this weird color texture where things were kind of dark. Wasn't really saturation kind of for a lot of games back in the day. You can really tell by playing a lot of games from this generation. Even some of the early Call of Duties, Call of Duty 4, World at War, those games really don't have the most colorful, balanced set. It just didn't really have the best color balance, I feel like, for some of the early games, but at least those games still looked good. This game doesn't look good at all. It almost looks like not saying that PlayStation 2 has bad graphics because they don't. It's basically just what the graphics were at the time of the console releasing. Obviously, PlayStation 3 is supposed to have better graphics than the PlayStation 2, and this didn't even seem like it did at certain points. It's just this kind of ugly setting. It's not really good to look at. It's ugly, it looks almost kind of like diarrhea. 
or what? You'll find yourself just walking through these huge ass open areas where there really isn't anything around. It's just weird. There's nothing I'm looking at right now. You're walking in this warehouse and all you see is just one hallway. There's nothing to the left or right. It's just stairs. And then you're on a beach with like one tree on the beach, maybe a rock or something. You're just in Narnia or some shit. There's nothing going on in the setting. It's just boring kind of looking around. There's nothing exciting about it. I want to just keep spitting on this game or something, but... But to pull a space jam out here now that doesn't mean anything because i don't really care that much at this point specifically even back then i really didn't i don't keep like hitting the shut up back in this generation we're just coming off the playstation 2 era where games did look good towards the end of the generation so if games just looked a little bit better they would have been very good looking for a lot of people and that's kind of what i felt if the game just didn't look terrible and it just looked a little bit better than what PlayStation 2 was, I would have been satisfied. But this doesn't make me feel that way. That's basically just a very small percentage of it, and that's sad. From the very first mission in this game, I already understood kind of what I was going to experience from just the sound alone. This might be kind of a petty or a stupid thing to complain about, but I'm just going to say it anyway. This game is unbelievably loud. Like if you have a sound system or you're wearing a headset, you might as well just start chopping off your ears. It is without a question the loudest game I have played in a very long time. Now I did play Killzone 2 a couple of months ago for the first time and I noticed that was kind of of a thing in kill zone as well but i feel like that fits the setting and just the overall game kill zone 2 while it might be very loud it makes sense why it is and it doesn't sound like you're in a 98 corolla with a broken subwoofer system so loud if you don't have the subtitles on in this game you won't know what the hell's happening people are yelling and shit and you still can't even hear what the hell's going on because it's so loud not even just the guns just like everything around the explosions and planes in the air or whatever the hell they are i don't remember the last time i really had to turn down the volume on my headset because it was just annoying me so much it's just this like staticky feeling without even it doesn't even feel like the guns are synced when you shoot the weapon you have in your hand it doesn't even feel like the sound is matching what the bullets are releasing in the gun if the sound isn't just unbearable then wait till you see the voice acting just remember what i said about prioritizing buddy what about it do you love anyone a woman your mommy parents yeah you hate anyone why do you ask because everything you feel all these emotions like love hate joy misery all of it they're just a series of chemical compounds and electrical impulse. This doesn't even make any sense. I don't even understand what the hell happened in this game. I really can't. If you asked me what this story was about, I wouldn't even know. I'd have to look it up or something. You'll just be sitting there flying along with people that you think are on your team and shit, and then they just start saying random things that don't even make any sense. They're not even relevant to the conversation. You can kind of tell when games try to take a more entertaining approach where they try to make things very funny or something but then end up not being really funny at all. Because when you first saw the initial trailers, or at least I think it was an E3 trailer or something back in either 06 or 07 when they released a trailer, and it seemed like this was going to be kind of a serious game. And then you turn the game on, and then five minutes into it, people are making weird jokes. I don't know how many times I found myself just running with my teammates on a specific mission and so many random things happen. You'll just be driving along on some ATV or something like that. There won't even be anybody on the back of it. And then the next thing you see is just someone's on the back of the ATV. Where the hell did you come from? You'll be walking downstairs, teammates are just appearing and disappearing at specific moments. You think you're lonely and nobody from your team is even around, and the next thing you know, they're flying around the corners, scaring the shit out of you. Every single enemy in this game has one tactic. Run your ass at the main protagonist with a shotgun. Every single enemy has a shotgun, it seems like, that is just running around a corner, blasting in your face. And that's fine and everything, but can we change it up a bit? They're just appearing in the middle of the roads where it doesn't even make sense where they are. You're going through a specific level or whatever, trying to get to the next part, and then someone is just standing in the middle of the street just doing nothing. Why are you there? What are you doing? It just makes no sense why the end- There's one enemy standing in the middle of the road. Who 
shit their pants. It seems like for the first two hours of this game, they were trying to make you go in a vehicle as much as possible, but just to make you go in one to experience the driving. If you don't use a six axis controller in this game, you might not even be able to get past some of these missions as well. How many times was I driving in this mission where you're trying to drive through this weird little I don't even know what the hell it was. This little road where, again, there was nothing around, and then you were trying to dodge cannons and weird other shit. If a cannon hits you, then you catch on fire, and then the game tells you to shake the six-axis controller. I was using a Retro Fighters controller playing this game. That wasn't happening. I had to legitimately pull the original controller out of the box just so I can finish... The mission. And that's not really the game's fault or anything, but I just feel like if you're going to play this game, you kind of need to use the original PlayStation 3 controller. I think the weirdest thing, or maybe not, probably not. I, don't, I can't tell you what the weirdest thing I saw was. One of the weirdest things I saw in this game and just didn't understand at all. Legitimately, the first mission in this game, it, it's telling you all about this nectar thing where it's, you know, this is a main thing in this game where it gives you abilities and shit. It's this thing that you kind of think that you're going to have for the rest of the game it's this powerful thing and then an hour into the game you don't have it anymore now it's just taking it away from me and i can't use it anymore it, it makes no sense why you went through the tutorial to use it and now you can't do anything anymore if they had to make it so you didn't have it for one mission or two missions or something you know that happens sometimes some games you'll find yourself in specific moments where you might have abilities or just weapons you can use and then there's a mission where you can't use them because because something happened. You get captured or just you get your powerful abilities taken away for some specific reason and then it goes away after a bit. You just can't use it for maybe a mission or two and then everything's back. This game just basically takes it away from you for most of the game and you can't use it after an hour into it. So I don't even understand what the hell the point of it was. You look at the title of the game and it, you see what you really don't even play as for 90% of the game. I thought I was going to be playing as some amazing soldier where you had all these crazy abilities or something and that's that's not even close to the case. Why does it seem like this game does nothing right? It's kind of weird because if this game actually was able to pull off what they kind of wanted to do, I feel like this would have been a good game. I'm not going to sit here and say it'd be better than Halo because I don't know if that's even possible, to be honest, especially in that generation. You're going to tell me right now that a game is going to be better than Halo 2 or Halo 3 that's supposed to be considered that? That's impossible. Those are some of the two best first person shooter games of all time. I found myself many times in this game just wanting to like it and then thinking that I did for a second and then something stupid would happen that made me not want to ever touch the game again. So many times in this game I was playing it where I was like, damn, if they just were able to pull this thing off, this would be a very good game. Now I understand that if you played this game very early on, then it probably has a different meaning to you. Hell, I'm not going to sit here as well and say that I haven't enjoyed games that people say are terrible. I enjoy many games that people say are bad. If this was like the very first PlayStation 3 game you played or something, then I'm sure you have a very special connection to it or something. So it doesn't really matter if the game is good or not. I mean, hell, I've played games that are terrible that I think that were... Or what? Start that sense again. There's been many bad games that I've played that are bad, but I like them still because of just the specific moment in time they were released. I think the number one thing in this game that I really don't understand and just makes this game completely unplayable at times is just the gameplay. Throwing a grenade in this game is probably the silliest thing you can do. It doesn't even work 90% of the time. You think you're throwing it in a room because you try to enter a room and there's 50 enemies around you. You try to throw a grenade in to get a little bit of a head start. It bounces off the wall. There's no wall in front of me. There's nothing in front of me and the grenade just bounces back in your face and almost explodes even though it's impossible to probably die from a grenade in this game. You throw it and then you have to wait for five minutes to detonate. So I don't understand really the point of grenades in this game. I mean obviously it's good to have grenades in a first person shooter but in this game I don't know what the hell I'm doing with them half the time. And then there's those ones where you throw the nectar grenades or whatever because they're supposed to be important and do things to the enemies. They just run away by the time they hit the ground. There's just so many glitches and strange things happening in this game at all times. You can't get five seconds into a mission without something weird happening. This is just simply a game that is not finished. I feel like if any game should have been offering refunds to it should have been this one. I don't know if I'm being very negative and just shitting on this game because it seems like it's a popular thing to do, but I'm telling you, it's hard to find positive things in this game. The story isn't good. The gameplay is terrible. There's so many weird things 
things in this game that happen, you can't even really enjoy two seconds of it before something just pisses you off. You think that you're finally enjoying it, and then just your teammates appear out of nowhere, and people are disappearing. There's some guy running around the corner with a shotgun. You're getting caught on fire, and you can't put out the fire because you don't have the right controller plugged into the system. This game probably had potential in its early stages, obviously. I mean, I don't know. I guess every game does in its very early stages. But kind of once you get to whatever, the 60, 70 percent mark and then you feel like you're maybe not going to be able to meet your deadlines and then the publisher steps in and is like all right you need to hurry the hell up basically so it obviously releases in this broken rush state i just don't understand why that's ever been a thing maybe that was the case for this game where they basically just had to release it at a specific time frame no matter what condition it was in because this is not a good condition game even early on as i was watching the trailers back in 2006 2007 whenever the hell it was i remember being addicted to to just watching PlayStation 3 gaming trailers on YouTube back in the day. That's probably one of the first things I watched on YouTube was just PlayStation 3 trailers. Upcoming games. I remember specifically watching the Haze trailer. Skate? Skate 1 and Haze. I remember watching the original trailers on YouTube so many times I can't even count. And at least Skate was a good game. This was not even close to a game I would recommend for anyone to play. If you want to play it just because it was one of those games that was supposed to be so good, ended up being dog shit basically. That's... Sure, that's fine because who cares what I think, but it's just this game isn't something where you're going to go into it and say, damn, this is good. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe you might think this game is good. I'm a dumb idiot, but I just feel like this game really doesn't do anything well. Just looking at the cover is kind of pissing me off. If you walked into a Walmart back in the day, you had no idea that this game was supposed to be the Halo killer or whatever the hell you want to classify it as. You just walk into Walmart or GameStop or something, you see it on the shelf. It looks like it'd be good. This has a really good cover, I feel like. Maybe that's the only thing it does well. The cover of the game is the best part of it. The profile picture everyone had back in the day was also kind of cool. So other than that, I can't really find many things. This is basically just kind of a broken, rushed mess where they just threw a bunch of shit at the screen, basically. Just turned into a zoo over there, just animals throwing shit all around the room, it seemed like, because it just basically what it was. I feel like I am not really doing anything that somebody hasn't said before because out of every video that i've seen on the internet or just opinion online or something on reddit or twitter where someone has discussed this specific game before it almost always seems negative there's definitely people out there that would probably enjoy this game because again everyone has different opinions on what they find is good or just annoying i just don't know if i could have ever expected what i was getting myself into for playing this game for the very first time in my life i was almost going into it thinking that it was going to be a lot better. Maybe that's what everyone thought. There's been many times where people have been just shitting on something and saying it's terrible and then it actually ends up being something I enjoy very much and I'm just like, I don't understand why people find this bad. This game was just so weird and strange at times that it almost just felt like you could just lay your finger on the R1 button to just start spraying everyone around you because you had no idea what was going on. It's just a chaotic mess, but not in a good way because there are chaotic messes that are very very action-packed with a shitload of action, and they actually end up being very good. Kill Zone 2 is the example of that. I don't know if I can say anything that is going to really change my opinion or just make me feel like I'm being too negative for my own liking or something. I just feel like that's what I think. I think you'd be better off running headfirst into a dishwashing machine before you tried to convince anyone that this game is very, very impressive or something, but maybe, again, there's probably many people out there and that's fine. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I I think maybe one problem that I had going into this was I was kind of expecting, like I said already, out of every single game that I have bought for the PlayStation 3 in the last three months maybe. This is the only one I think I didn't enjoy. Anyway, thank you for stopping by and watching this this idiot. This idiot sitting here mediocrely talking. So it's just basically just Yep, A's 2008, probably not the greatest game ever, but what the hell do I know? Hopefully, maybe, you know, people get enjoyment out of it or something. It's not like... I don't know. I've probably played worse games before. I'm not going to sit here and say it's the worst game of all time. It's just... Uh, I don't know how to ever wrap these up. I just sit here and talk and then just the video ends. <laughs>